All right. Isn't the uh, isn't the cauldron in the uh, little not I was in earlier? That did that where the rooms disappeared. Next, this is. This is the tree. Soon, guide me. Yeah, it's down in. Wait a minute, I just get turned around. Steel and flesh met here. Yeah, but you not leave no corpses. Investigate. Yeah. <laughs> I was already here. Oh, I didn't see that guy earlier. Ah, where are those guys? Ditch was dug so the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. Something huge was dragged this way. Indeed. Maybe like a cauldron? This card bears the sign of Agir. If it was Agir's cauldron they dragged through here, it must be large indeed. Return to Earth when they die, back to the tilth they came from. This is a giant cauldron. How am I supposed to carry it? Well, I guess we are a god. The trail of destruction leads towards that giant root. What, this one? Yeah, this is the fucking place I was in earlier. I was like, oh, how'd they get a cauldron down there? But then it disappeared. How the... Maybe it can shrink? Soft moss all around. Yeah, you were already here. Hand. And it fucking disappeared. This place is heavily guarded. Oh, that thing was the cauldron? A giant thing? Makes sense. Yeah! Take a nap. So that that thing's a cauldron. Oh my god! I could just jump over there, but uh, what the hell? Yeah. Does it notice this guy dying right behind me? Seen in your 
No, they're not. <laughs> this cauldron should be enough to win Sutungur's favor. I could go to Bukartha now. Yes, could, could, indeed. Look at that. Now it's pocket sized. Totes adorbs. I'm just going to grab the little stuff that was here. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Damn it. these stairs getting the fuck out of here for the last time with our tiny expandable cauldron the house show me oh down down there who's in the where did you guys come from We have unfinished business. Time to die. <laughs> Get right. Okay, so our house is like under here, right? I think. Later. I don't know how, I don't understand. This our house is like in this area. This is. Oh, this is our house? This is where she lives? sunk her whole fucking place. Oh shit. Where is I don't know. I don't know. 
What is this? Ooh. Uh, Thomas Brightle Sackland. This would be worthy of good Why is that here? I don't understand. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Give me all the stuff. I'm going to kill you. Who's choking? Who are you? Hey. Off with your head. the one they call Harvey, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sutunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much steeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast. I hope also to meet your daughter, Gumluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned. She shuns the company of others. Mm. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy in the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey. Be kind. Gunnlodr is different from you and I. What do you mean? Uh, can you explain? Another fake house. I don't even know if I'm doing anything by standing here. Macarena. The way inside is revealed. Oh, yeah, I had to cross through that way. Duh. The skull door, duh, you know this by now, come on. Oh, there's a big place down here. Oh, hello. Gundula, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures, but every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. 
You are Esir. I am. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility waiting for unknown ears many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. Hey, it's me, Marty. There is to be a feast in my honor. Future. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Oh, who's that? Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day, another thread. Come, we must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Let's go. Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. Yes, yeah, sky pearls. It is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. Well, I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Oh, Even if it means the death of all your men. We will find another way. We must. Ah, uh, that's not good. I don't like this the... land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. Toil and drudgery is our lot. I don't like the wreaking havoc on all humankind part. Doesn't sound too good. The vault. Oh no. There is no sense trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. Hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when all we have built here will be swept away. Oh wow. Cinematic. Um, I didn't there in that tower. Yes, enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Oh. This place really filled up. <laughs> I don't know what he said. Can we go a little faster, please? Harvey, your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutunga. None can say otherwise. And she, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead, enough for a hundred Yotnar 
and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with meat from your vaults, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do it. <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> My cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. All right, we're gonna have to. Ali, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, I don't have anything prepared. Probably shouldn't say the last part. Probably not. I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wits, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. Yeah, we're all friends, all huh? brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? There we go. You know your audience well, it seems. <laughs> now you, you know. drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! We're gonna have to find a way to... Need to empty that cauldron. Yeah, and the girl. We're gonna have to empty the cauldron, so he has to get it. Where's the music? Yes, in the kitchen. Out! Crazy musicians. Where's the music? Hmm. They are calling for challenges. Abby! Show us your... Oh, my! Beat that champion, and we will drain our horns in your. Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will That's not your... fight a withered old champion. throne. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face a well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. Well... <sighs> I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to speak up with my baby. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. What? Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. We need to drain this cauldron, so I had to do it. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead addled? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. Oh, For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink, 
and let fly. Last time I played your game, I got hey, 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 hey. shot my brother in the back up, motherfucker. What's this second? Let's just hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. What am I shooting? What am I shooting? I don't get it. Close your eyes, your oh. will improve. Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. Oh my god. I'm supposed to shoot pottery. The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. What else is there? Now, have a drink and try another. Okay. You look a bit more. Boom. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. You look a bit wobbly, eh? Haha, <laughs> easy. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. All right. Gundola looks glum. She's... You're not drinking, Gundola. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let oh, us okay. play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. Oh, what? I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who hmm. rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. A river has a mouth, and sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a <sighs> One more? Sure. I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the oh, hardest yet. God. White haired women, servants no, too, bore no. ale tub to the larder. larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the island, the upright one who made it. One more time. White haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. Mm. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Fuck. I don't know. Snow on the trees. You have a poet's heart, but you should have used your Swans heart. and eggs. It was swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? That was disappointing. Perhaps you'd better find someone more suited to your intelligence. <gasps> How dare you! Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. 
We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Oh, of Who course. will steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. What can I do to get them to drink faster? Thralls, humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lonely. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. Mm. Agir, mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Good man. Must we drink to our enemies now? Give me an enemy worth the swing of a lance. Sounds like the thieves. My turn, my turn. Not you too. You break the strings with your sausage fingers. Hey. 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 That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go die from that meat. Shine my hand though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. I've already done that. So it. easy. How many broken bones you think? Fifty at least. Maybe I a... should be cautious around here. <laughs> Boom. He's slow. Now give me the harp. There. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Give me as hairy balls. That was amazing. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Who's your mother? How dare she? Uh, where's the... He's over here, right? There he is. You're the musician, here. Yes. Great Sutunger, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Good mother. Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish. I will open the vault. Everything is going according to plan? Is less than generous. None will be capable. <laughs> Now, to get the mead. Yeah, where's the vault? Oh yeah, that place, okay. 
There's some plaster over there. She did say it was the mold, so. Finally, the mold is open. The mead awaits within. <laughs> I heard a noise and... Oh, shit. What are you doing here? Um... I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. We were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. <laughs> we are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift. Your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attempt. I will show you all you need to know. Oh, shit. Huh? Oh. Waking up. I don't want her to know. Oh, she's snoring. Yeah, I'm sure me clank, clank, clanking around up there. I think it'd be like right here, right? Oh wait, I haven't gone over here yet. Good point. Ah. The mead. By this of course, it's in the horn. She's not. The dances of the well of Mimir. All right, I guess we're out of here. Uh -oh. The robber caught red-handed. You son of a bitch. Loki. Loki? You should have the sense to stay far away from me after what you did. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungar, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death. Bitch. You would gamble with uncountable lives! What have you done with 
my daughter. Nothing, she's sleeping. Such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. Oh, shit. Go by the fire? Ah. Down you go. Oh. Be thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Ali, but not your own. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> 